So it's lunchtime now and I'm heating up some leftovers from yesterday night because honestly I've just been walking around this lake doing nothing. I found some dead fish. I don't know if you can see but there's like two fish head just lying in there and I don't think that that was a human. And other than that I've just been sort of exploring doing nothing. But after lunch I'll pack up and head out to one of the lakes I'm actually allowed to fish because this one I don't have a permit for. So I stopped along the way to fish one of the smaller lakes and I just did like 10 casts, caught one smaller pike, didn't even, didn't catch it. I had a bite. I saw it, it got off, but I'ma set up the camera. Maybe we'll at least get a bite on camera this time. But yeah, it's a really pretty lake. And as I said that, I didn't put my phone in the hole and there we go. We got a small pike. It is really tiny. I'm gonna unhook it. Give me a sec. He's tiny. He's going back. You all know how my fingers smell right now. This is one of those spots that can cost you half your gear in half an hour. Because there's just so much twigs and trees and all those woody glory underwater that you just can't see. This is actually such a nice color combination. But yeah, the trail is headed that direction, but I'm headed back down because I know there's gonna be another five lakes or so on this trip, but I like this one and I wanna explore it a bit more. And also the sun is coming back out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try my luck along the stones down there for a bit. The second I'm like, okay, I can turn off the camera, this happens. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I mean, sure, why not? So now I gotta decide if I wanna keep him or not, because he's eating size, but I was looking for perch. I think he's gonna go back. Okay, it's already 4 p.m. and I have like an hour left to hike and there is another lake on the way, which I'll probably fish too because... Because, <laughs> end of the sentence. Um, so I'm gonna pack up and start heading out. literally what I live for. Just look at that. You can see two lakes divided by a small strip of forest back there. And the sun is glistening on the surface. It smells like warm pine wood. But I kind of have to hurry because I just checked and it's a lot further to my sleeping spot than I thought it would be. Yikes. Okay, I consulted the map and I'm gonna 100% regret this decision. But this is the last really small lake I'm gonna be at in the last small path. So I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes to try and catch some perch because my last spot is going to be at like a bigger hiking trail than this. 
if you can even call a trail that is all i have and gosh i hate this spot anyways because there's these tiny flies that try to get everywhere and they're disgusting but yeah basically we're gonna fish real quick and then we're gonna move on I'm starting to regret letting that pipe go. Oh, so this is what I'm working with. And I'm tiny, so walking in here is no fun. And this is what a small trail meets the big trail. I'm actually sweating so much and it's so windy and I can already see the lake, which means I'm close to where I want to put up my tent. But it also means as soon as I get out of the forest, I will be so cold. It's getting pretty late. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of hungry. And I hiked up to this extra spot, which is like off the beaten path, so to say, because I thought maybe it would be a nice place to spend the night, but it's really far from the water. It's really hard to get up and down here. I think I'm just gonna go with the kind of not so great spot that I saw down by the lake. And just hope that the wind doesn't get too bad because there's like no actual soil to secure my tent but well, it's kind of a nice extra tour this is not an ideal spot there is literally no soil for my tent to have any grip it's really windy but this is sort of the only spot i found it also has a giant picnic bench in it but i'm back on the main road so why am I even complaining? I could have guessed that. But yeah, I'm just gonna try it and build it and see if it works. And if it doesn't, I'm honestly sort of out of options. <laughs> this actually went a lot better than I thought it would. We have four in the ground. I mean, they're not far in the ground, but it did go better than I thought it would. Um, also, it's not actually that ice cold, but if I've learned anything, it's Never let yourself actually get cold, just bundle up like crazy while you're working so you heat back up. So yeah, I'm just saying nice and toasty. Okay, this is where we're at. Um, I got the mat inside. I'm about to put my sleeping back inside because it needs some time to re-expand after I compressed it. Um, I hope you can see that lovely stone on the side that I used instead of another anchor because there was just no way I was getting at that one into the ground. So yeah, let's do that. Not eating fish for dinner, that we all know, but I think I at least got a nice spot.
I definitely meant to get up earlier, but while I was eating dinner yesterday, I saw the head of a ferret, and I'm guessing that that ferret decided to circle my tent all night. And then I just randomly woke up at 3 a.m. and was just wide awake. So not the best night ever. Also my tent is wet, which is not great. But yeah, I'm gonna make breakfast and pack up anyways. I'm currently just hoping that the rain doesn't get worse because it's just kind of drizzling for now which is already not too great, but yeah, I mean, it's really gloomy, it's really nice. So it's now fully raining, it's no longer just a tiny drizzle, and I'm just sitting here in my tent contemplating my life decisions. But yeah, I started packing up, I think I'm gonna make some breakfast now, at least make some tea, and then I'll have to be a big girl and pack up a wet tent, but for now it's really cozy actually, it's kind of a vibe. Oh my god, it finally stopped raining. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I mean, I'm not even going to say anymore. The sun actually ended up coming out, so I decided to take my time and let the tent dry a bit. But now I can see like the next rain front coming in over there. So now I actually have to hurry. It's really windy outside and I'm snacking on some Oreo chocolate. Basically I'm living my best life. Um, it was really nice, I had a lot of fun, definitely had some challenging moments that maybe not made it on camera but this world has made it so easy for us never to have to be alone. There's always someone to talk to, something to listen to, something, some app to scroll, there's always something that will give us the feeling of not being alone and it can be really hard and really difficult if you partake in that life of constantly having some sort of interaction or input to not feel alone in the woods especially when you have no service when you can't just call a friend but sometimes i think it's really healthy to get adjusted to actual silence and I know this is like basically the principle of unplugging and I'm repeating what probably every lifestyle guru says but it's so true I sometimes think that I don't have that because I don't spend so much time on my phone or I don't hang out with people that much I'm a bit of a loner but it's a lie I still have it I definitely feel it when I'm out of podcasts for example I like to listen to podcasts at night and if I don't have any downloaded anymore then I'm just kind of laying there staring at the tent and try not to get an anxiety attack for I don't know being alone in the woods probably several miles away from any other living soul that isn't an animal but you gotta stick it out you gotta get through that and especially the last two days were really fun 
and had a really good time. Basically what I'm trying to say is get out there, have fun. It's okay to take pictures, but just learn to be alone again. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this little adventure. Like, subscribe and say hi in the comments and I'll see you all next time. did one cast. Don't even have the boat in the water yet.